let's say we have this quadratic equation the input of this equation is x and the output is y so we have plotted this equation in an input range of 1 to 20 and in y-axis we have the output in MATLAB uh, to define these input points we can use this array of x uh, between 1 to 20 with an interval of 0 0.2 so that means we will have 100 points of x and we store x as input and this input or x has been put in this equation to get the output and hence we have received this plot now for instance for the sake of argument if you think that your friend has received this plot it only says a number of input and a number of output in 100 distinct points and you did not tell your friend what equation you used and further now your friend is asked to tell that what is the value of uh, output given that you have these inputs that is not included in your initial evaluation of the function when you knew it. Of course your friend doesn't know that equation but you are asking him to tell that what is this output value which is for a given uh, input uh, which is not included here so a easy uh, work around for your friend is to build a three layer artificial neural network so this type of network is very useful in engineering applications so your friend already knows the values you want to put in this input layer he knows the x coordinate of those points and he also knows the value he needs to put in the output layer because he knows the knows the y coordinate of each point what he can do he can choose around three node hidden layer and train a artificial neural network so let's see how he's gonna do that so he will do that just using these two lines and just by knowing two function fitnet and then train the artificial neural network so let's see what he's gonna do in uh, how he's going to use this fitnet first he will make some setting to the neural network so he names it set underscore net so in fitnet the first input is how many nodes he's gonna use in the hidden layer and then there is a range of training function he can choose from he can choose this Levenberg uh, markward function this is quite popular for this sort of application and now his network setting is complete then he can train this network just using this train function and inside he will give this setting all the values he had this 100 x coordinate comma all the values he has for 100 y coordinates and run and by that in the output he has trained this artificial neural network and if he is asked to get the y value for any x value that is not present in this uh, set of points he can use this my a underscore a n n function to provide that y value for that given x value let's see into a more, bit more detail how he will perform this uh, training so first of all you have given him this input and output or the plot so let's run this and after that he has no information about uh, this uh, uh, equation except for he knows only the input and output so what he can do as I showed earlier set this artificial neural network and uh, train this network by using just those input and outputs so let's do the training number of iteration and so on there are some other plot that can show you uh, the accuracy and so on but now we have this my a n n function this function is like uh, any other function where s 
this has in input layer the x coordinates of this curve and in output layer the y coordinates so in this my ann function he can put any value of x and in return he will get the output or y coordinate of that point regardless this point is present in this curve or not so this my underscore ann is a representative of that quadratic function that you know but your friend does not know so in matlab in this function i have put this 14.15 uh, value for input which is not included in these points and then run uh, hit enter it gives me the y coordinate value of or output value of 521.19 then i have checked separately that what is the exact analytical value for this input value so exact analytical output or y value is this and when we compared the prediction for this black box at trained artificial neural network output with the analytical output the error was so much negligible of course you may ask that you could have interpolated between these points and many more or you can by looking at it you know this is a quadratic uh, equation plot but this was just to give you an intuition that when you have data and you don't know explicitly what are the relation between them just by knowing the data you can train some sort of black box box function that will represent what relation should this uh, two data has or this input and output has but things can be much more complicated it can be that from simulation you are getting multiple inputs and uh, multiple outputs and then there the relation between inputs and outputs can be much more complex but you can set up a neural artificial neural network and train it such that within a particular range for any input it will give it can give you the output without repeating the simulation so in a separate video i have explained this workflow please check in the description or check the video in our channel